Hey guys, what's up? It's Sway and wow man, we got a lot of things going on. We got the we got everyone talking about the reverse market crash and we got the interest rates going up by six percent. I wonder how it's gonna be when election day comes. I wonder how it's gonna be, man. You know, as soon as those those interests go down, oh man, these prices of homes might just skyrocket. I'm not even worried about that though, you know. Uh, I know that what I need to do, I'm going to prepare for that. And I'm going to make sure that I increase my skills. I increase whatever I'm doing so I can be able to have enough money to be able to survive through these hard times. Because, man, as soon as these, these prices of these homes go up, it's going to be hard for the average man to even afford anything. <laughs> for real. So I wonder how the average man is going to do and in the futures market. For those of you guys who don't know, a reverse market crash is when the increase of the value of the market goes up. It shoots tremendously up when it was predicted to actually fall down, you know? And a lot of people are wishing for the market to crash down so that they could, so that they could be a market reset, so that it could be, so that they could be able to afford the, these homes, which are a little pricey at the moment right now. And, um, there's a lot going on in the market, and my opinion would be just don't follow what these people are doing. Like these people are are speaking fear into the atmosphere. Like block all that out and just focus on yourself, because if you listen to that, you won't be able to focus on what you need to do. You'll be focused on how to react depending on what's being said in the atmosphere. And um, Bill, not Bill Gates. How about I say Bill Gates? What's his name? Uh, what's that famous investor, Warren Buffett? He talks about be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. You know, when you see everybody trying to buy these stocks or buy homes because it's so easy, be a little scared because they're, they're a little too excited. You know, don't follow what the herd is doing. But as soon as you see them uh, panicking, saying, oh, this doesn't work, this doesn't, um, you know, uh, fear, you know, fearful, them being fearful of even investing back into the market. That's when you jump in. And a good example would be me. When uh, these these uh, interest rates went up to 6%, right? Everyone was going crazy because it used to be at 3 to 4%. And everyone was going crazy saying um, that it's not a good time to invest. I'm going to wait until these interest go down. And I'm just like, what can I do as an investor? You know, this is my first time buying a, a property. And, you know, that quote stuck with me, but later on, I figured that if I was able to get a home at 6% interest rate, right, I would be able to refinance it into something a little lower. But the best part about uh, the risk that I took was that once I got into the market, there was no competition around. So it was easy for me to find properties that are making good cash flow. And thankfully, I found my property, which is cash flowing the way I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? I get to sleep at night knowing I'm making passive income, which is the best feeling as a 22-year-old. You know, I was 21 when I bought the, the property. Man, I'm telling you, um, I'm so thankful for with the wisdom that God has provided me, where I was able to not listen to what everyone else is saying. People saying that it's not a good time to buy a home. But I did what most of them were, were scared to do. And we're, we're living in tough times. But I don't think that should, I don't think that should be the the thing that should make us. You know, I feel like we should just overcome whatever, whatever is going on around us. We should create. You know, as men like like me, you know, I believe I should be able to survive. I should be able to adapt to any circumstances I'm in. You know, and I was able to do what I need to do. Now, because of my adapt adaptability, I was able to to get a home and. I get to pass on to my kids. I get to get equity out of it. I get to sell it. I get to do whatever I want. And that's the achievement I'm gonna forever hold my back, you know? But that's not the only achievement. So we got more to go on the self-improvement. But guys, share your thoughts on what you think is going on on this current market wave. Um, share your, your thoughts on what you're gonna do for, for action. And, you know, yeah, just share your opinions. And, uh, Stay tuned because I'm going to post more 
on what I do and in my self-improvement wave. And if there's anything that I learn, um, I'll, I'll be willing to teach, you know. But I'm going to catch you guys later. All right.